Hi, kindergartners, kindergarten families, and kindergarten teachers. My name is Susan Mello, and I am presently working as the Title I Math Coordinator in the Mascoma Valley Regional School District. Uh, I'm here to show you all the goodies and activities that are in your math bags. Uh, but before I start, I would like to thank Nancy Murphy, Director of Curriculum Instruction and Assessment. Uh, she and I uh, had some fun picking out most of these activities and putting the bags together. And I would also like to thank the kindergarten teachers for their input into what is important and fun for a kindergartner. So let's see what's in this bag. Um, your grade level math appropriate, uh, your grade level appropriate math manipulatives are connecting cubes. You have 20 cubes, 10 of, of two different colors, and there's a lot of ways that you can use these. Uh, one thing that you can do is you can make, you can use them to make patterns. Families, you might make a pattern and have your kindergartner copy it, or kindergartners, you may make a pattern and have your family copy it. Uh, that's just one way to use these. An example might be a simple pattern, white, blue, white, blue, white, blue, continue it on. Or it might be a little more complicated and it might be uh, blue, white, white, blue, white, and the next one would be white and continue that on. Can make all different kinds of configurations. Another way that you can use these is to um, use them to show the different ways you can make 10. We've included a five frame and a 10 frame. Just for purposes, let's use the 10 frame today. Okay, so I could take 10 of these blue cubes and fill my tens frame. So right now I have 10 blue and zero white. I could take one off and I now have nine blue and one white. I could take another blue off and replace it with the white. I still have 10, but now I have a different combination for 10. I have eight blues and two whites, and I could go on until I have 10 whites and zero blues. And what you've just done is you've shown all the combinations for 10. So that's two different ways to use these connecting cubes. I'm sure you can come up with lots more. Uh, we've included a kindergarten favorite in your math bag. It's called Monster Squeeze. I've cut mine out. Yours will come like this and you can cut it out. Uh, in class, the kids play a big one. So I'm thinking of a number and I'm going to tell you that my number is going to be five, but I'm not going to tell my partner what my number is. So my partner's going to ask me questions and my partner might say, is your number less than eight. Yes, it is. So I'm going to take this monster and squeeze it down. Less than eight, I can cover up eight. Okay. Is your number more than two? Yes, it is. It's not two. It's more than two. So I will squeeze this number up. Monster squeeze. I'm squeezing it and narrowing down my possibilities. The next, uh, per, the next question might be, is your number um, less than six? Yes, it is. Okay. Is your number less than five, uh, less than four? Yes, it is. So down and then you're less, no. I'm sorry, my production team is telling me I just made a mistake and I didn't, I apologize for that. My number is not less than four, it is more than four. My, and then I would cover up my four and my number is five. I hope that made that clear because I just messed that up. I'm thinking ahead. My brain is going faster than my mouth is going and I apologize. But you know what? You don't need me to tell you how to play this game. The kindergartners know how to play that game. Another game that's like that, and I hope I can explain this one correctly, is called Frog Hop. Again, yours is coming in one piece. I've cut mine apart so I can show you. You can tape this together or you don't even really need to. You can just lay it like that. And this is a number line. So I might be telling you a number story. I might say something like, um, I have seven stuffed animals. I bought two more. How many do I have now? Well, I had seven to start with, so I'm going to hop my frog up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I bought two more. I'll take two more hops. I now have nine stuffed animals. Or I could use it to subtract. I could say I had seven grapes, and I could start my frog at seven instead of at zero. I ate three of them. That means that three of them are gone, or I've taken them away. One, two, three. How many grapes do I have left? I have four. Directions are right there for you to use that. Um, 
Another game, we have um, a lot of cards. I've included a lot of, um, not a lot, a couple of matchup and topic games. These are games that the kids have played in school. We have matchup with dot cards. These are dot cards, put them face down, turn over two and try to match them. These both have five dots, even though they look different. So this is a match. We also can match up with, match up the dot card with the number card, uh, match up the number card, whoops, the number card with the tens frame card. Uh, you can also use your deck of cards for number cards. Just remove the jacks, queens, and kings, and you have four sets of one to 10. Uh, your kindergartner knows how to play Top It. We have Edition Top It, Regular Top It, and this is pretty self-explanatory. I've cut mine apart. Yours are all coming in one piece. Uh, we have one more, um, act two more activities. This is where you would use your dice. You could uh, roll, the, roll one die, and it's a two. Use your dry erase marker, trace the two. Whichever number you get to the top is the winner. The directions are on the back. Writing on the plastic sleeve makes it erasable, and this is a dry erase marker. We have another memory game. This is solid shape matchup. Yours is all coming in one piece. I've cut mine apart, and these are some three-dimensional shapes. A cone, and you could match that up. This would be a cube. This is a sphere, a cylinder. This is another cylinder. Your student can help you with that. These are cubes, rectangular prism, and so on. Put them face down and use it like a memory game, another rectangular prism. So there's the, oh, in addition to that, of course, you're getting a book called Jack the Builder, and it's uh, about three-dimensional shapes and building with blocks, and it's bright and it's colorful and it's a fun read. So uh, I apologize again for my mistake with number squeeze. Um, and it's when, it happens when you think too fast. Um, I hope you enjoy these games and have as much fun using them at activities as we had putting them together. And thank you very much for listening. Thank you.